behind the front that moved through the eastern part of England today. There's been fairly fair weather in the central part of England up towards the northeast. A little bit of showers to the northwest throughout today, though. Uh, 10 degrees the high in many locations in central and eastern parts of England, extending down towards the south. Overnight lows last night coming into today, as a matter of fact, only went down to their low temperatures during the day today, really. Minus one at Glen Ogle, in the company there of a lot of other very isolated or high altitude locations there in the low temperatures just above freezing. So over the next 24 hours, this is what we're looking at. That's the front moving through there towards the southeast. More significant rainfall, which could turn into snowfall overnight in parts of Scotland. And by the morning hours, this is what we're looking at. Precipitation will have moved off over the North Sea by the early uh, morning hours. Minus four in the Scottish hills. Uh, freezing over most of Ireland. And uh, looking at the rest of England and Wales there. Very cold in the north. Minus one up in North Yorkshire. And at most other locations, not too many degrees above freezing so looking into thursday it's not too bad a day for most of us here you can see uh, very little precipitation occurring maybe just a drib and drab in northern parts of scotland again could be wintry especially if it's inland uh, ireland looking pretty good a cool a cold brisk day clear skies over most of the area same too for england and wales high temperatures of around four or five degrees celsius a tad warmer in the southwest this big cloud mass moving in on thursday evening sweeping across the whole country with lots of precipitation coming in behind it as well we expect significant amounts of precipitation to move through ireland in the early hours of friday morning just about reaching the western tip of wales and the southwest of england by perhaps morning uh, by daybreak temperatures overnight into friday morning there in England and Wales and Scotland, very cold indeed, down into the minuses in many areas, especially inland. Through Friday, uh, a significant band moving through. Not sure what's going on quite with the graphics there, but temperatures remaining fairly low, only to about three or four degrees. That's in the cities. Outside of the cities, we could be seeing rain turning into snow over the central spine of England, up into Scotland as well. Further south, it's going to remain uh, probably rain. Uh, moving through, going to take the whole night into Saturday morning for it to clear the east coast of England out into the North Sea and you can see the temperatures overnight there a little bit warmer in behind that front still below freezing over many parts of Scotland as we enter our Saturday morning so this is what it's looking like on Saturday a fairly mixed picture now behind this frontal system that's continuing to push through towards the continent uh, and a pretty uh, clear of precipitation day there another cold one only three or four again that's only in the cities seven or eight in the southwest of England which will get the best of the conditions on Saturday so coming into Sunday morning it's probably going to be another cold night there as well uh, but that is only a smidge upon what we expect to see during the later part of next week especially further north a lot of areas getting a freeze again scotland and northern england predominantly the south uh, the south of england and wales should remain above freezing uh, and generally another mixed picture on sunday you can see partly cloudy conditions prevailing maybe a little bit of rain which could turn into sleet and snow over mountainous regions four degrees celsius uh, generally in scotland and northern england up to about six in the southwest the southeast by the way uh, not going to be getting those warmer temperatures as well it's going to be very similar to what you would see in the northern part of england uh, coming into Monday, not exactly sure on what the timing of this next front is going to be yet, but we do anticipate that it could be a pretty big one and it could deliver significant, significant amounts of snowfall behind it in the northern half of the British Isles. But into Monday morning, you can see it's still fairly clear, uh, but very cold temperatures because of that really. Uh, and there's going to be a wind chill that will be increasing throughout the day on Monday as well as this system moves in from the northwest. You can see all that cloud cover associated with it there. The temperatures during Monday, three or four if lucky, the wind chill values could put it below freezing as you get those green areas there showing gale force winds encroaching upon the area. If and when that system arrives, we'll be providing updates on the website force13.com forward slash ukwarn.html and also you can check out our Force 13 UK and Ireland page on Facebook and you can also send in your photos there too.